all understood that if you go to jail, that's the loss. Like, like, so why would you make it appear as though you went in, in jail? Like, you lost, Nick. You're in jail. Like, that's where the losers go. That's where the losers go. Well, you got to understand, when we in the streets, we are being told this part of the game. This is part of the ritual. Going in here and seeing if you can survive or you can stand up to the suffering. And you ain't a man until you are proven you can do that. But I, I think it's all. What up, YouTube family? Welcome to From Indicted to Invited. Go ahead, hit the like button, cash up, upper left hand corner. I want to thank Mr. Liquid 2000 for his donation. No amount of too small with them donations, man. I can't tell y'all how grateful I am to have the kind of assistance that some of you guys have been, been, been showing the channel. And, uh, man, we really appreciate it, man. We really appreciate it. Uh, just played a video for y'all, man. Is And that video fucking sums it all, right, when it comes to the black community. And I, don't, I know a lot of us, you know, the, a lot of you the guys that raise your own kids and stuff. You know, you know the hood can be inconsistent. The hood can be inconsistent with the, with the politics. You know what I'm saying? And one end, you got people talking about, you know, street cred and all that, going to prison is, it's like a badge of honor, it's an initiation to, to your hoodness and all of that. Then again, you got the same people. Uh, talk about getting out the hood. So why not how to get out the hood mentality before you go to prison? And we got kids and stuff like that, and we hope that our kids, you know, when they run across shit like this, they understand that it's buffoon buffoonery. It's stupid. It's the dumbest shit, motherfucker. It's the dumbest mentality that it, that it can have in any neighborhood. You know what I mean? And I just don't want... Uh, when I come on here, man, one thing y'all y'all can say about me, man, I ain't never glorified going in that. I ain't never glorified nothing about no fucking prison, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just that's, that's being caught up in stupidness. You know what I mean? And us as a, you know, especially in a black society and in these black neighborhoods, man, we got to change our mentality the way we think. You got people hoping they make it where they never got to go back there. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way it should be, bro. That's the way it should be. It's a shame that with some people got to start off from there. And the things you're going to see and all of that. But let me tell you something. All that shit ain't nothing what you're going to see in prison. That prison mentality, that prison, once you go, when you come home or whatever, man, you're not going to be the same. It's a stain on your character. It's a stain on you as a person. Society looks at you different than people who want to hire you gonna look at you different Everything you see in there. I don't care if you can if, if you're a tough guy and you can make it You know what I mean? You still gonna be fucking damaged I want everybody to know man that shit is for suckers, bro Going to prison is for fucking suckers, bro. It's a cop-out to everything that you want to do in your life, bro Fuck these dudes over here to my all oh, man uh, J Rock coming home. What up J Rock man? And wanna you know and when y'all wanna live y'all want that kind of glory? Cause you made it in prison? Or you went to prison, man? Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here with that, bro. You should want your kids to see that your dad or your mom never went to prison. Once they see that you go, more than likely they gonna go. Once they see that you went, more than likely they gonna go. Especially if they young men. We gotta build up these youngsters. And we gotta change the mentality. Uh, this fucking hood, th these hood thinking, bro. We got to change the mentality of this shit, bro. And I and I hate the fact that people come across a video like that. You at your lowest point when you're in prison, bro. You at your lowest point, bro. 
When I tell you, your emotions are going to go haywire on you, bro. You're going to hate some of your family members, some of your best friends, your girlfriend or your wife. You're going to start to dislike them. Like everything, you, every, you're going to think everybody treating you unfair while you're in prison. But some people are looking at you like you're the stupidest motherfucker on the planet for even letting the people get their hands on you. They don't want to deal with stupidness. That mean you. Hit that like button for me. Share this video. Prison ain't the way to go, man, for nobody. Let's change the way we're thinking in these, in these hoods, bro. You know what I mean? Let's admire the people that, that duck that shit, that duck prison. Let's admire those people. Now, I got to talk about this Beyonce thing. My daughter went to the concert. For all of y'all that got Beyonce coming to y'all town, right? For more than one night, right? We found out that she been, after the first night, she been lowering the tickets or giving away free tickets for the second and third night. So all the people who ain't got Beyonce coming to y'all, don't go on the first night. Just wait and get your tickets. And they gonna, she gonna lower the prices for the second night. I think maybe because after the first night people come and you know a lot of people go, the second night ain't really got the, the second and third night ain't got the ticket sales, I guess. You know, and she want that joint filled up. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's one thing. The other thing is, bro, I'm off of the Beyonce. I'm off of the Beyonce train for right now. Man, when I was in prison, me and my Sully, man, used to go back and forth. He was a Rihanna fan. I was Beyonce. We used to go back and forth. On the prison shit. Ruler, who was better? Ruler and all of that, right? I'm off of it right now. I'm off of it right now because I seen beyond I seen a beehive here in Vegas strong, right? And it was a bunch of sassy ass dudes walking around. And I ain't I ain't in that kind of I ain't in that. And I don't care nothing about no the alphabet community and whatever. I ain't I ain't bashing y'all. But I ain't part of that shit. I don't like it was just too much going on. Too many sassy ass dudes was walking around here, bro. I'm talking about a big cockstrong motherfuckers, 6'3, 250 with all muscles with heels on, with some little ass, glitter ass shorts, bro. That shit, no, nah, bro. They was around here. They was, they was, that community too strong for me to Beyonce. And then she didn't play, my wife said she didn't play none of the old, none of the bangers, the old bangers. All that new shit, that house music, that go go. I just ain't into all that shit. I ain't into it, bro. All that Gloria Gaynor is raining men and and the YMCA kind of music shit, the, the village people. I ain't man, fuck all that, bro. I ain't in all that shit, bro. That I don't like that kind of music, bro. I mean, one time, man, I, don't, I can't remember the name of the club, but I was standing at the courtyard over there by the, the tunnel to go over to Canada, in Detroit, right? I was by myself. I drove up to Detroit. I would meet somebody there. And I walked over to the club over there. Y'all know the people from Detroit know the club I'm talking about. They used to be downtown right there. So I'm in there, man. I met these two bros, right? They, you know, I'm, you know, I'm showing them a good time. They showing me a good time. And we go on the dance floor. You know, I'm doing my little two step. You know, I do my same little two step. Then the DJ did some kind of like a remix and start playing that house music shit and speeded that motherfucker up real fast. Time for the percolator and, the, and mixing that shit with all this shit like this and all that. So I'm out there, you know, I'm, I move slow. So I'm out there, man, he changed that shit. I try to, I try to, I try to speed up my two step, man. I'm out there looking goofy as a motherfucker, bro. The chicks laughing at me and everything. <laughs> I do not like that shit, bro. I never did, man. All that old little house music and shit. That shit is like for the like, you know. That shit be the that shit be the gay club, the tranny theme song when they when they come out. The the the, the you know the uh, the MC the the, the cross dresser MC. He comes out on all this Beyonce shit that she didn't put out now. Man, I just ain't man. I'm off of that shit right now, bro. You know what I mean? I was out here. I was I was out here working, bro. Doing the rides, bro. I seen them, bro. I didn't take no pictures of them. I said, I ain't gonna even do, you know. You know what I mean? But everybody had them fucking hats on and shit. You know, the hats and shit. The cop and the hats. Some people had the hats with the, with the shit hanging off of them. The Mexican hats. The sombreros and shit with the boots. Everybody had on silver and glitter and shit. 
And man, that motherfucker, that Beyonce following is strong as a motherfucker. But I ain't no, I ain't in it right now. I'm out. It just, I just ain't too many sassy ass dudes, bro. It man, and it made me think that that's what I like. How the fuck did? I don't know, man. But that Beehive following the strongest shit, bro. Should be Beyonce a cold motherfucker, man. But on this album right here, with all the house music shit, I'm off of it. I'm out of that. I ain't got nothing else to do with that. All right. Go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget, man, we appreciate all y'all donations, man. You know what I'm saying? No amount is too small. This is from Indicted to Invited.